Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as The Thrifty Broad. And today will be a haul video because I went back to the bins yesterday, which today is Sunday, which I'll probably upload this, this evening, already kind of late afternoon. Anyway, so I got done cataloging everything and um, I want to show you what I got. Now, not everything's very exciting. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, not that exciting. Um, it's Nine West. So I got them because, I mean, look how cute these are. Now they don't comp all that well. However, I did get two pairs in two different colors in the same exact size. So here's the other one. They do have some wear around the edges there, but I don't feel like it's gonna be such a big deal. Like the, this part of it looks pretty good. And these are leather, but look how cute those are. Little kitten heel. These would be really good for by the pool. They're size 10, medium width. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Worst case scenario, I send them to swap. Well, actually, I wouldn't because they have a little bit of damage. Uh, worst case scenario, I would end up redoning. I know that was a little bit of a, a gamble on my part, but they're really light too. So I'm like, ah. But I got some really great shoes, actually. These are some Georgia boot. I never heard of Georgia boot, but um, these are like these, as far as I could tell, these are logger boots. Um, they are high top. I need to do a bit of re restoration there, but that won't be too hard. Um, I mean, they are like scuffed up probably the rest of it. I'll probably put like maybe Doc Martens on it, um, but I will use my dark brown um, Saphir uh, color cream on this part because that would make that look really nice okay so at first these are uggs so at first i thought and as far as i can tell they are real um they do have the thing inside but not all of them do like i've had i've actually seen real uggs that had no um you know, that holographic thing, that strip in there. Anyway, these are size 10. Yeah, these are size 10. I think they're size 10 in women's. Um, and at first I thought, oh my God, they cut them off. And I've seen that happen before. But then I realized, no, they have these straps on the side on both. So unless they reattach them, I mean, and perhaps they did, but I don't think they did. So they're like a short style. And there's no, there's no shirling in the inside. So they're just regular, you know, leather boots, which I have seen them. They're just regular boots. Here's another pair of Uggs. I can't believe these were like picked over shoe bins. I can't believe someone passed these up by. Look how cute these are. And that's a functional pocket. It's um, Velcro or hook, hook and loop. So underneath there, so you can store on your ID or something. But then it has this cool buckle detail. But it zips down the side. <laughs> And then has shirling on the inside. Um, and the shirling looks really good, actually. This doesn't look like it was, it was worn, obviously, but not like beyond usability. These don't need to be cleaned up or nothing, really. I'm just going to brush them, stuff them before I uh, photograph them. But, you know, when I was looking these up, and I do love the big metal uh, plaque back there. This is UGG Australia. Um, when I was looking these up, like some of them were selling for like 150, 120, or like 112, somewhere in there. I think I want to put mine up for like 75. I did comp everything first. So I will insert a comp like I did in my last um, shoe video, for, uh, shoe thread up video. Um, and if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll try to put that here. So on the next pair of shoes, these are Matisse which I thought was really interesting when I found these boots. I really like the like tapestry. It almost feels like the old like 80s fabric they used to use on chairs and stuff like that. But these are vintage from what I've been able to gather. Um, it was funny because I found another pair of shoes that had almost this exact pattern, I want to say, but I only could find one boot and it looked just like this. And it was J. Jill. So I'm like, did Matisse and J. Jill share like some fabric? <laughs> because they were almost identical. I threw back the J. Jill boot because I couldn't find 
uh, the other boot and they were taking the bins away. Like I go to the Everett bins primarily and I went at towards the end of the day. So they, they, at about 4 30, they started bringing bins in. They're doing it kind of slowly, but you like it. They shook the shoe bins and then they took some clothes bins and they took some hard good bins. And then finally, by the time we were checking out, there was no more bins. I think they're starting to do that because people will shop until the last minute. And so they're not letting people shop to the last minute. Anyway, I digress. I got these Danskos. Um, and these are the Lolita style. I was able to find that. Um, I, how cute is that on the footbed? There's a parrot. Anyway, so the bottoms look really good. I um, mean, there's some, you know, scuffing right here, but I don't think that's going to matter. And these are a size 38 in European sizing or seven and a half, which I am a, I am a 38 in European sizing. Um, that's how I know it's a seven and a half because I'm a seven and a half. I found these and these are, Taos, T-A-O-S. I think that's how you say it, Taos. Correct me if I am wrong, but I really liked this like braided um, strap on it. These comp pretty good. I think, yeah, I, like I said, I'll I'll put that in there. I found, oh, there's another pair. Oh, I'm right in front of me. I didn't go over yet. Okay, so oh, some L.L. Bean. These are some duck shoes, but they're like short top, low top duck shoes. Um, these are in size seven and a half women's. These are so adorable. Love these, these like Mary Jane floral. This needs a lot of work right here. A lot of cleaning up. I'm looking at my monitor over there in case you're wondering, what is she looking at? Cause I can see myself. I just want to make sure I'm like in the frame and stuff like that. And these are also LL bean. However, these don't have a size. But from measuring, there was like some ins insoles and I took the insoles out because they were rem removable. I don't think they're original ones. Maybe they are. They need to be cleaned like big time. But I took them out and I measured them. And by looking at LL Bean's size chart for shoes, I was able to basically guess the, um, ascertain the the size, which I, I estimate between a 10 and 10 and a half. So hopefully I am correct. I won't be able to get as much as I probably could have had they had a size inside, but that's okay. I did skip right over these as well. I think I got all the other shoes. These are the ones I skipped over. Okay. At first I thought these said Sonoma and you know, I don't usually pick up Sonoma, but I did pick up those pair of jeans that did sell for 20 bucks on Poshmark, but I thought these looked really cool. So I was going to pick them up even if they were Sonoma. When I got them home, I realized I said Sonora. So uh, these actually comp pretty good. If I can remember correctly, there are some harness boots and I just thought they looked really neat. And I was so happy. Like I found this and I was looking at it and across the bin for me, there was the other one kind of like sticking. This part was sticking out and there's a guy there. I'm like, Hey, can I have that shoe? And he's like this. I'm like, yeah. So he gave it to me, which a lot of people are nice like that. Okay. So the only thing I got that wasn't clothes or shoe related was this um, pillowcase that it's Ralph Lauren or Lauren Ralph Lauren, 100% cotton it is the green tag. And um, it is, I don't know what print this is. So I'll have to do some, I mean, I, I estimate I can get about $20 for this pillowcase um with shipping but you know even if i got 15 dollars with shipping that'd be fine this way is absolutely nothing um i do like to pick up La ralph La lauren ralph lauren um sheets and stuff because some of them go for some good money it was a couple years now that i had i was at this mom and pop thrift store and they had um this king size sheet set that was a top sheet and a bottom sheet and it was it was like blue i think it was like blue plaid with like bears all over it and i don't remember who I, oh no i do remember who i was watching i think it was the bin pickers now they don't do any new videos but they have all their old videos up there they stopped do, making videos sometime last year and i think it was them that had picked it up before had picked up something like that they were talking about the bears and saying how they saw it after when i saw them at this thrift store 
they're having a sale on sheets. And I, it just kind of caught my eye. So I took them home because it cost me literally $4. It was $2 per uh, side. So for the bottom sheet, it was $2. And for the bottom sheet, it was $2. And so I was able to throw them up on eBay and I sold them for $200. I think the same day I put them up there. There was somebody up there that had $1,200 on their sheet set. I don't think they sold it for that, but I was like, how about two? And someone offered me less and then she just turned and I didn't even have a chance to respond. And they're like, no. And they just went and bought it. And I was about to accept the, the less. Okay. So this doesn't have any branding, but I think it's this way. It's shapewear, right? So, I mean, this kind of goes around the bra. So you don't have to have a cup. It's not a cup size. It kind of goes like this side of the bra. And then there's this back part, which I think goes under your butt so you can go to the bathroom. That's my guess. Tell me if you know what that panel is for. I've never owned shapewear that had that in it. So they are shorts, but they do not have a snap crotch. I think the only thing I have as shapewear is it's a bodysuit shapewear and it does have a snap crotch, which is a pain in the butt. I wonder if that is easier to do. <laughs> to use the bathroom with. The, this kind of shape we're on. Anyway, moving on. Um, and even though it wasn't branded, it's a 2X. So I thought, you know, this will probably do a, do fine. I think like $35 probably. This is a small. I Now I do better with them when they're bigger. But this is Tommy Bahama. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Tommy Bahama's right there. And it is a silk, floral, basically Hawaiian shirt. And I, if I find these, especially the silk ones, and sp especially like the better, the louder the print, the better, I pick them up like almost every time. Um, this is new. I've never found this before. It's hook, hook fishing gear. But, you know, knowing just men's like sport gear in general usually does pretty good. So, I mean, usually it's like 20 to $35 or more, depending on what you got and what brand it is. So this is an extra, extra large and it's a great bigger size. I think this is too far over. Okay. Now this is crew. The, the, um, the tag itself, what I thought was interesting. So, um, but turns out, I think this is a skater brand of shirt or a skater brand. Um, so I picked it up. It has like these novelty flags all over it. I don't know if you can see that, but I figured why not? It's pretty light. Okay. And I think this time it was 59 pounds and I spent $116. It was like $115 and change. I had them round up. If I have the presence of mind to remember that, I tell them to round up. This is um, Igara. Yeah, Igara. Um, and it's just a long sleeve plaid, but it's a 2X. So I picked it up and it's 100% cotton. So 100% cotton plaid and it um, basically feels brand new. I don't think it's ever been worn. And it also has this still attached to it, which are the... Uh, the collar stays to make your collar stay on. Now it's from the men's warehouse. So I think this came from the men's warehouse. But when I was looking at comps, they actually comp pretty good. Okay, this is the first time finding this brand for me. I don't know why, but I never ever find this brand. But maybe my luck's turn turning. So it's equipment, femme. And it's this beautiful floral silk blouse has all its buttons, no stains. So excited. When I get silk, I really try to look for staining because it's so hard to get it out of silk because silk doesn't color fast. So if it's printed, it doesn't color fast. And so it's so hard to clean it because of that. All right. So now if it's a solid color, I'll wash it and then it'll be fine. This is new tag cabbie which it's been new tag cabby for several years. I forgot what, th what this is called. I did look it up, um, but I'll have to insert that with the comp. And it's just like this cute, like flutter, like, I don't know, flutter 
not flutter, ruffle detail. It is sheer, so you'd have to wear something underneath of it. But it looks like people were, when they were selling them, they were all selling them. They were all just this, nothing, no underliner. So I don't think it came with one. So I think it came just like this. Okay. This is Vince Camuto. And I mean, this is a, like a, it's a creepy type of fabric on the front but not on the back and it's a side bow detail. I think it's really cute. It's a small, of course, you know, I wish it was a bit bigger size, but you know, what are you going to do? And another small, this is a wrap top, a wrap top, a wrap blouse. And it's from top shop. You can see that. Um, but I thought, how cute is this? So it has these ruched, there's ruched detail on the sleeve that can tie, and then uh, it obviously ties around. But how pretty is that? And I'm trying to pick up things that are more like fall, not fall, more like spring and summer related since we're going into the, the spring and summer part soon. Um, yeah, because I don't want to, <clears throat> I do have some winter things that I did pick up, but for the most part, I'm picking up as much as I can spring and summer. Um, this is, it's gonna be hard to show. It's Melissa McCarthy. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Probably not. And I'm sorry if it doesn't, it's a 3X. I really love this print though. So it's a swan print. It's very art deco. It's a very art deco print to it. And I just really love it. And I probably will model this, even though it is way big for me. Um, I put it on to show my husband. He's like, it makes you look really big, like bigger than I am. And I'm like, well, that's probably okay because this is bigger than me. So when I model it, I'll look a little bigger than I really am, but that'll be fine because I'll probably look closer to the person who might be buying this. So anyway, um, I think that's like more of representation if I put it on me rather than put it on my size six dress form. It will not look good on her because she'll be swimming in it. Um, so this is, oh, oh, am I doing it? Yeah, Ganny, which I'm not sure if this one was sold at Anthropology. There are some people trying to get the get like $145 for this top new. I don't think it's worth that much. I think I'm putting up to what, for $45? But it has this ruche detail. It's a size small, but this is really cute. Like a, um, it's a see-through though. You'll need, well, I don't know, it's not that see-through, I guess. Because it does have like a second mesh like lining on the inside. If you wore like a uh a lighter bra, you could probably even wear a black bra and probably look fine underneath of it. You'd see the bra black silhouette of the bra. Wow, can I not talk? Silhouette of the bra, but mm, does that really matter these days? Okay, so this is free people. So when I saw it, I saw the, the sleeves. I'm like, please be free people. And then I pulled it out and it sure was free people. I'm not even going to attempt to show you it because I don't think you'll see the thing. But look how cute these sleeves are. Are these pulled in? Oh, these are pulled in. Look how cute are they? So someone's going to love this. Now, this was probably not a great buy. There's a few of them on the market. It is new with tag. It's kind of why I picked it up. It is a sweater. It's Lucky Brand. It is a medium. No, it's a small. I apologize. Small. Um, it's kind of oversized, though. Like, I feel like a, this could go on a medium or even large and, you know, be comfy. But, you know, sometimes I just pick up new with tag stuff. Worst case scenario, I put it in a swap box later on. And then I'll do fine there. This is J. Jill. I don't pick up too much J. Jill, but I really loved, this is a size medium, but it's oversized still. I do love how, um, it's like, it's great, but it's has like silver like thread in it. I don't know if that comes through or not, but I know, I just thought it was really cute. And this is, like I said, oversized. Like I could probably fit this and it's a medium. All right. So I picked up this skirt. It's new with tag. 
It is dress barn though, but I thought it was just really cute. So it's a size 12. So I thought it's a really good size. You probably don't need to see the tag for dress barn, but here it is nonetheless. Do you pick up dress barn new tag? No. Yes. Probably no. But sometimes I feel like the style warrants me picking it up. Okay. So this is Garnet Hill. Garnet Hill has a following. This will do well on um, eBay. And I'm mainly just putting my stuff on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace um, right now. And there's a back. Okay. This dress, I just picked this up for pure style because the dress isn't a, okay. I'm using kitty hangers because I lost my, I couldn't find my bundle of bigger hangers and then I found them later on. So this is Benetton. I don't know if it's going to focus and I can't tell from here if it's focusing or not, but um, it is the spaghetti strap maxi dress, which I thought was really cute. I really love this floral print. So pretty. And it has smocked backing, so it's stretching the back. I, I want to say it's 100% cotton. It feels like cotton. Let's find out. Does it tell us? Do, do, do. I don't think it's going to tell us. But it does feel like cotton, so I'm just going to put this right here for now. All right. This is Urban Outfitters. I just really love the baby doll dress. I don't know if it'll come across because it's really light. Um, but I'm not going to get a lot for this. But it's like it's oversized baby doll dress. Does it have pockets? I don't think it does. But I thought it was really cute. Why not? Oh, yeah. Another first time finding this. I hear Jack and Ryan talk about this from time to time. And I want to say Lori's Boston Found has found this before. That I, I mean, obviously other people have found this before, but the people like I hear talking about a lot. Um, and I can't remember who else has been talking about it not that long ago, but it is Peruvian Connection. So I found this really pretty dress. I think it's called the Potpourri Floral. Look how pretty this is. Very romantic. Love it. And there's the back. Has pockets. Well constructed, obviously. So I was really happy about that. This is nice. It doesn't go for, well, I guess it goes for about 50 bucks, depending. Alexandria Bennett. Not sure if that's. And it's 100% wool. It So it, uh, we call it, fastens at the very top and the rest of it's open all the way down. And it does have pockets. It's a two X. So if it's me, so I'll probably model this too. Well, I know I definitely will. If it fits me, I've been modeling it like in my mirror. Polo golf by Ralph Lauren. Come on, do you... Okay. Hopefully that did at least, um, focus. It has like houndstooth in the middle of it and like kind of like embossed in the fabric. And on the back, it has the, the horse, the jockey, but this is in great condition. This is a extra large men's. Um, it doesn't look like it was worn. So I was really happy about that. It's full zip. So I think this will do pretty well. This one was an iffy one. <laughs> I will say that. I don't think this is a good one to pick up, so I don't recommend picking it up. I just like the style of it. Luciana. No, Luciano. Luciano Dante. It's like 25 bucks, if I'm lucky. But I just really loved this eyelet and like um, flower detail to it. So hopefully that does okay in, you know, coming in the spring here. So this is a long, I believe it's corduroy. It's 100% cotton, but 
it's purple and this long like jacket. So it is one size. Now I put it on and I can button it and I have room. So it's made to be oversized for whatever. And it truly is one size to a point. Like everything's one size to a point. If you are a size small or medium, you'll swim in this. If you're like an, uh, even a large, if you're an extra large and higher, this might work for you if you like the, the oversized, like lag and look. So I believe it's vintage. Let me show you the, the uh, label though. Oh, come on. It's one way two. So never heard of it. It looks like a tag from the 80s. And a couple more pieces. This is a, what is it? Oops. Falling off the hanger is what it is. It is, oh my God. Bond Eye Australia. I think it also is referred to as Bonded Australia. It's really cute, like uh, swim top, bikini top. So I think I could get like around like $25, $35. I think I'm going to try for $25 um, for this top. And this, how cute, how beautiful is this? It is like this fleece, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a fleece fabric. It's like art to wear, but it's reversible. So the inside is black and then it has pockets. And then it has pockets on the outside, but they're like, in set pockets. Um, so you can wear it and looks like all these coats are reversible. Let me tell you who the maker is. It's Alpine Studio. So can you see that? Anyway, so some of these coats can go for about $75. I think they're vintage. Um, that one I probably put there for about 50. Anyway, so that's what I got. I did get a couple of extra stuff. Oh no, I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the shoes for a minute. Okay, so a few pieces are for me. So these are Torrid Active Line. They are some Capri uh, floral leggings, like, you know, yoga leggings, workout leggings, which are super comfy. So I, those are for me. Um, I got, oh, this has no size. I think it's like an extra large, but I got them for me. They have pockets on the side. So did those and they're space dye. I have no idea like who the maker is on this though. I almost thought it could be Lululemon because of the butt area, but then I realized there's some other ones that do the exact same curve on the top. Kind of look like a Lululemon, I bet. So they're for me. And this pair, they're look brand new. Well, not brand new, but they look not that used. Uh, Marika. I don't know if you can see that. It might be too light. But anyway, this interesting like camo type print. I don't know if this is really camo. This looks like abstract maybe, but they're an extra large, which is my size. So those are for me. Okay, the rest of this, oh, there's one more thing in there This for me, but I'll show you. Um, this is Nanette Lepore. Nanette, Nanette Lepore. So it's her diffusion line. And it's these like panty, not panty, ponty, like these really stretchy ponty pants. Yeah, say that three times fast. But, you know, I thought they looked nice and they have like gold hardware on them. So why not? Okay, so I got these Slink jeans. I've never heard of Slink before. Have you heard of Slink? Um, but here's the back. They are skinny jeans. But they're size 16. So I thought, why not? They're curvy. They are skinny. So I still wear skinny, so I still pick up skinny. Um, free World. These aren't that great of a pickup, but I really like the pattern. 
So this kind of pattern I think is kind of in right now. So I thought, why not? They're size 36, they're men's board shorts. These are a woman's 26. Uh, like boyfriend jeans. They're like cutoffs. I think I'm going to clean up the, the, the white part, you know, kind of clean that up with some scissors. So it's just a sprayed edge. It'll look a little bit neater, but I don't know, maybe what would you do? Would you clean that up or would you just leave it as is and let the person who buys it clean it up if they want to? Um, these are lucky brand. They are men's they're size 36. Um, they are the, I'll tell you in a minute, they're straight leg. I know that. They are the Virtue Vintage Straight. So I thought these comped pretty well. So, and then I found a pair of black skinny Torrid jeans. So Torrid, I'm sure you've seen that label. Um, they're the Platinum Stretch. And, okay, there is a flaw with these. They're missing the button. So I will need to attach a button. But I have, like, what I do, if it's map, it's missing its grommeted button, I'll just put a regular button in its place, and it works just fine. But you need to, when you do that, you can't, like, tack it down really tight. So you do the button like normal. But underneath the button, I will twist the um, thread around several times. So it kind of creates this column of like thread around thread. And then I push it back through and then I uh, end it there. And that gives it some extra room. So when you put, you're not putting undue strain on the button itself, if it's like too close to the fabric, it'll create too much strain and will eventually wear out. That way it, it gives a, a lot more life to that button. Anyway, so I, I thought they were cute. I still like the distressed and the destroyed look. And I still wear it. So these are for me. Now that is the end of my haul. <laughs> so thanks for watching and have a great Sunday or the rest of it.